Warning, this video is my opinion and you might not agree with my opinion. Here is the definition of opinion for those who need it. Please subscribe. In this video, I'll go over my opinion on the top 10 Minecraft servers of all time. Starting at number 10, we have Mine Club. I'm pretty sure this is one of the newest servers on this list, and I only heard about it through this guy named McBurkin, but logging into this server and utilizing his resource pack makes for an extremely unique and fun minigame experience. Definitely recommend the laser tag game mode, as I find myself sitting here for hours playing this game. It's pretty fun and just about the exact same as laser tag games in real life. The downside of this server, I think, is that there aren't a lot of mini games to actually choose from. There's only like four or five right now, but I think it makes up for it and how fun these mini games actually are. Number 9, Mana Cube. This server is mostly on here for its extreme nostalgia and how I reminisce on the parkour section of this server. I know it has a lot of other game modes, but I really only come on here for the parkour. I remember playing as a kid on the really hard parkour levels for hours trying to finally get it. And then my skills dulled over time and now I'm barely able to do any of the levels. However, I put this server down at number 9 solely because the only thing that keeps it from really being on this list is how good the parkour is. The rest of the server is very basic in my opinion, but it does have the best parkour of any server ever, and there are hundreds of levels to choose from on this server as well. Number 8, PvP Legacy. Now as you know, I'm a 1.16 PvP nerd, because it's objectively better than 1.8 PvP and coded with actual PvP in mind, so I'm a bit biased putting this server here. Oh my god, Asher, what the heck, you don't like 1.8 PvP, you're trash! No, no, I like 1.8 PvP, and sometimes I even prefer the lack of thought and very quick fights in games like Bed Wars. But to have a duel with someone, a one-on-one -on -one fight with equally balanced players that are on the same playing field, and all that determines who wins or loses is their skill, is just amazing to me. That's why I like 1.16, and this is easily the best 1.16 server out there. Easily. I have to put so much thought and effort into the fights that I have on here, and they take forever. Not to mention, this server has plenty of people to duel as it's pretty popular and plenty of super interesting kits and you can also create your own custom kits to duel with people so i'm definitely a fan of this one number seven the imagine fun minecraft server this one i'm completely biased on and it's only one of my favorites because of how absolutely beautiful it looks Imagine Fun is basically a complete recreation of Disney World inside of Minecraft. You can go on all the rides, explore all the places, and there are tons of streamer events on here as well. It's super fun to interact with the community, everyone's super cool, the building and resource pack is awesome, it's really fun to explore, it all looks really pretty, and I don't know, I just had to put it at number 7 due to the fact there isn't a lot of replayable content outside of events and stuff, so there isn't really a lot to do after you've explored all of Disney World, but even that will take you a couple hours, maybe. Number 6, The Mining Dead. This server is genuinely very well coded and very fun to play. As you might expect, it is a Minecraft server that allows you to live and survive in the world of the famous TV show, The Walking Dead. It's completely mod free and available on multiple versions of Minecraft. You go around, collect things, kill zombies, and you can even build and maintain bases. The server has come a long way since I was a kid and played on it, but I still hop on and enjoy the server every once in a while. Genuinely a great experience. There's also a different hunger system and a thirst system that makes it a little harder to survive. I also really like how you hardcore die. So when you die, you completely have to restart with all new items and stuff. You just, you lose all your progress. Here's where things are gonna get a bit interesting. At number five, I'm going to be putting Munchie MC, Bad Boy Halo's Minecraft server, at this spot. And while the server itself isn't necessarily anything special, with only a few game modes like survival, prisons, and kit PvP, I still find the server to be one of the most enjoyable. For now, I know a lot of the game modes are basic, but the reason for this is that I just love its community. I've talked to a lot of people on the server, and a few mods even, and everyone on the server is genuinely extremely nice and non-toxic. Now, not to say there aren't trolls randomly shouting memes and stuff, but I think of all the communities in public Minecraft servers, this one comes in second. So I'm definitely gonna put it as number five. What's the best Minecraft community? community, you might ask? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. Number four, I'm going to be putting the server called Potter World. And as someone who has adored Harry Potter since I was literally a kid, it's pretty obvious I'm going to put this in the top five. You log into the server and get to literally go to Hogwarts in Minecraft. Like, how cool is that? You get your own wand, be put in a house, I'm a Ravenclaw, by the way, and even learn, gather, and obtain spells. 
I haven't played a lot here since like I have on most of the other ones, but there's no way that I'm gonna put it any lower on this list just based on how ridiculously fun and addicting the gameplay and quests are. Absolutely amazing. I highly recommend this server. Not a lot of people actually play on this server, but I don't think a lot of people know about this server. Again, though, it does actually have the issue of not knowing where to go or who to talk to for specific things. It's really hard to get around on this server. I think that's like its biggest flaw. Number three, Origin Realms. This is a 1.16 plus Minecraft server that blew me away when I discovered it. Not only is it kind of similar to Hypixel Skyblock in the way that it has its own community, economy, and gameplay inside of your own realm, instead of your island, it also is one of the prettiest, if not the best looking server on this list, and has the most amount of custom content of any server I've ever seen. You legit can find horse carriages, custom mobs, custom blocks, custom items galore, custom detailings for buildings, there's so much stuff here. Look, look at this guy, he's insane! There's custom NPCs that don't even exist in base Minecraft that people have just modeled in. Like, like how do they do this? How do they make this like bird thing here? I don't know. I have no idea how they do this, but there is so much stuff here and I don't even know the beginning of it. I can barely scratch the surface of this server. The only downside is it's pretty tough to figure out exactly what to do because I'm an idiot, but once I got into it, it's amazing. This is by far one of the best servers I've ever played on, and it took me by surprise when I first stumbled upon it. Number two. Now I almost swapped number two and number one, but I just cannot deny number one its rightful place. So I'm putting Hypixel at number two. Everyone knows it, it's the most popular server out there and rightfully deserved. It is an absolutely massive server with thousands of players constantly online, a decent community, and a ton of variety. There are so many games on here that you can play for hours and hours and hours and still not get bored because of the amount of stuff you can play. There's so many games. The Skyblock game mode is actually probably my favorite. It's genuinely fun and enjoyable. Skywars is really, really good as well. The arcade games are super fun when you have friends to play with. It's just overall the best variety server on the platform. And the only real downside is the fact you can get randomly banned, or the fact the Bed Wars community is toxic. There are also lots of critiques for this one, but... I still enjoy it. It's one of the most enjoyable servers I've ever played on. I definitely would have given it number one if for the fact that number one spot wasn't already taken by another server. I just want to mention that Minecraft is built now to be more like a game engine than anything else. You can create your own game inside of Minecraft. And what's crazy to me is that every single server on this list that I go over is completely different from the last. And it's a different experience and I feel completely different while playing it. But nothing has ever felt like this for me. At number one, it literally could not have been any other server. Windcraft, the Minecraft MMORPG. This server is the absolute peak of Minecraft. It has a fun and enticing gameplay, great story, great combat, a housing system for building, leveling up, literally spells, a class system that you can pick, custom armor, weapons, character builds, and a huge map that is unbelievably beautiful and all packed up together in a wonderfully designed resource pack. What's insane about all of this is that it's completely mod free. You can log in and play on most versions of Minecraft and you don't have to install any mods. There's hundreds upon hundreds of hours of gameplay content and it's just absolutely breathtaking. However, this server is actually not without flaws. Due to the fact it's an MMORPG, you will eventually get to the max level and complete everything. Windcraft lacks a lot of endgame content. Think of World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy. Those are popular MMORPGs that have a lot to do with the endgame content. Windcraft has a few corrupted dungeons, a few raids, and that's about it, honestly. Once you complete all the content in the game, there's not enough replayable content to keep you playing. But there's still a lot of content to actually do here. However, there is also one other blatant flaw inside of this MMORPG. And as much as I love this server, I cannot talk about it without mentioning this. It is extremely hard, almost impossible, for new players to get around or know where they're going without using the online map or the Minecraft Forge mod, Windtills. However, with both of these, or just using Windtills, it easily becomes one of the best Minecraft servers of all time and my personal favorite Minecraft experience ever. However, how could you fix this? I'm going to be releasing an in-depth video about fixing this specific flaw with Windcraft, but I'm gonna give just a really small example here. 
There's another MMORPG server I tried called Mystic Runes, and it actually has a particle beam on the ground that takes you to your next quest. I feel like this could easily eradicate the requirement for a map and make the server very new player friendly. This does kill exploration a bit while questing, but it also prevents confusion on where to go. Windchills also holds green beacons that hover over the characters that have quests for you, and I feel like this in regular Windcraft could help a lot. However, despite the difficulty in exploration, it is still the best Minecraft server of all time. Thank you all so much for watching. Disagree with me? Leave a comment below and let me know your favorite Minecraft servers. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. That's all from me. And as always, keep your pants on. Bye bye